I just went with the flow and you know what they all survived Miss Willis I can't see the waffle did you sign on yes don't sign on it's just a lot and I'm trying to push it but you can't push it too fast because then they just get overwhelmed and they don't want to do anything really Good morning. I am feeling still bad with my sinuses and now my throat, so I'll probably be visiting the doctor this week. But even though I had a three day weekend, I still have a lot to do, so I'm going to go do some of that to prepare for this week and today specifically because we're doing map testing with the students. I just have a lot to do and hopefully I get better. There's also meet the teacher tonight, so we'll see how that goes. I am not feeling any better. In fact, I think I'm feeling worse. And so I went ahead and made an appointment to go see the doctor right after school today. Hopefully I can get on some antibiotics. Ooh, I think I'll be able to push through today. As long as I get good night's rest and then start taking my antibiotics, I'll be good to go. We did some map testing in first period and there was a lot of troubleshooting. I felt very lost a lot of the time. I didn't know what the students would have on their screen and so I was, I didn't know what to expect so I just went with the flow and you know what they all survived they all did okay they all got logged in eventually so it was good to go even though it wasn't perfect it was okay okay I had to jet right out the school right when the bell rang so I can get to my doctor's appointment I made a doctor's appointment because I was still feeling really bad and so I just got out of my doctor's appointment I'm about to go back to the school I should be okay it just may get worse before it gets better but I'm going back to the school to get ready for Meet the Teacher and finish that up. And that starts in about an hour, so I have a few things to print, but I hope to get that done. And I'm really looking forward to resting tonight. I think everything's going to be okay. Okay, finished Meet the Teacher. Success. I got a couple of them laughing. But this place is clearing out like an anthill that just got kicked, so I'm going to leave because it's 8 o'clock. It's Wednesday, even though it kind of feels like Tuesday, but it's not because we had the holiday on Monday, so it's Wednesday. With that being said, I do have a lot of meetings today, and I have one that I have to go to in about 10 minutes, but I'm feeling a lot better, and I haven't taken any medicine, so I don't know what that's about, but really happy about that. I have to put in some corrections. A student came into tutorials yesterday and corrected three papers. You can correct it up to a 70, so I'm going to put that in. And we had Meet the Teacher last night, of course, and it went really well. Today we're finishing up map testing. So they got yesterday and they also have today. And then moving forward, if they still need more time, we have to put them in a small group and just let them test while we move on with every other student with the lessons that we have to do from now on. Let's go to a meeting. It's going to be a good day. And here we have directions. And number two, very important, I even started and I had so many students sign on. Do not sign on. They were like, Miss Willis, I can't see the waffle. Did you sign on? Yes, don't sign on. I also really want to hand these pencils out as little prizes. I got them from teachers in my department. They were just super nice and handed them to me and gave them to me as a gift. And then these I won at a professional development. So I definitely want to use these. They're just cute little stickers. I've talked about them before. And I want to give these out. Wednesday is officially done for. I am about to get out of here. I need to run some copies real quick. We've been map testing all day, again today. And it's been really nice to be able to read emails and take care of business while the students are testing. I know tomorrow most students have finished today and so the teaching will start again, which I'm pretty excited about because I've been sitting for a past two days. So I'm excited to get back to teaching. But anyways, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I'm in the car at a red light that I know I'll be at for a while, but 
I have never been this late to school and I have when I get there I'll probably have about 10 minutes left before I have to be at my duty post so I thought I would just go ahead and talk about what I'm gonna do instead of in the classroom because I feel like I'm in such a rush but I have duty this morning at 8:10, and then I have to lay out my papers for today that the students are gonna grab when they come in and then I have to set up the PowerPoint for a couple of different classes because we're doing different things and so I just have a little bit of responsibilities to do but I'll catch up with you probably during conference. The PowerPoint that I was talking about doing because we're doing a couple different things it's my regular class we're gonna go over some content math content first dealing with fractions and then the last half of the period those who are still testing will finish testing so I needed to have the PowerPoint to have all their information on it and then I have my homeroom as well and they're doing something completely different so I had to have a PowerPoint for what they're doing so they can join my Google Classroom and see their assignment on there. And today has been super stressful um, because there's a lot of content to get through and I'm trying to push it out to the kids and if they don't get it then we're behind and so I need to figure out another way to teach it and make sure that they understand it. It's just a lot and I'm trying to push it but you can't push it too fast because then they just get overwhelmed and they don't want to do anything really. So it's a, it's a balance. You have to give them just enough to keep them going, but don't give them so much that they feel overwhelmed. So I'm trying to balance that out today. Again, it's my first year, so I don't really know how it looks, but I'm, I'm learning, definitely learning. I really had high hopes of jetting out of here right after school ended, but I just don't think that's really what I should do. I have a lot of grades to put in, a lot of grading to do, and just with the way the week's going and stuff, I think I just need to take tomorrow for the students to get all of their papers back, their grades back, just get caught up on grading, give everything to them because the end of the unit is about to come up and also progress support grades seal tomorrow so then the students will have three weeks to catch back up before the six weeks comes out. I'll be up here late and hopefully I won't have to be up here late tomorrow though. a little past six o'clock and I'm finally going home. I could still do a lot more but I need to put a stop to it today. Pretty sure the custodians are ready for me to get out of here because they're like waxing the floors out there. But anyways, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. This morning I have a meeting uh, at 8.10 and so it's about 7.35 so I got here a little early so I can do a couple things before that meeting but I thought about rearranging the desks and then uh, I decided not to so I'm going to have to put those back. I have to put a bunch of grades in because progress report grades lock today and so I need to do that and just need to get organized for the day, what's going to be on the PowerPoint, what the students are going to do. So. I'm pretty excited. Today's going to be kind of a makeup day. I decided to just slow it down because it was just going way too fast. So I'm not going to teach anything new today. And some students are still finishing their map test. This is day four. So today's the last day though. So when Monday comes around, we'll be getting back into the groove of things. And we have a quiz on Tuesday. Oh, and I forgot to describe the meeting. The meeting that I'm going to isn't a normal meeting. It was just called for because this student that is in special education uh, her mom is trying to see if she has ADD and so what that looks like they handed me a survey a couple days ago to fill out what I've seen in class if I've seen any of these characteristics on 0 through 4 scale 0 to 4 and so filling that out and I don't really know what to expect I've never been to a meeting like this before but I'll let you know how it goes I'm debating right now I don't know if I should grade the papers now put them in the grade book now and be done with them for the weekend or if I should take them home. It's 5.15. I want to go home but I want to be responsible. I have to print another Chromebook in and out sheet for next week. I have to rearrange my classroom desks. 
I have to grade and input two more grades. Well, I don't have to do those. I have all the minimum grades I need for today. But I just want to go ahead and put those other two grades in and get it over with. I need a folder for when you're absent and you have work that you need to make up. I need a folder for no names. I don't know what I'm going to do. one here. I did want to say though that I am proud of myself for staying late on a Friday to get everything organized. Whoa, that was lightning. But I need to get home and that's the wrap for week three.